guys and welcome to this week's studio vlog. Hello if you're new here and thank you for coming back if you're returning. Sorry the lighting is a bit funny in here, it's actually dark outside and uh, I've only got one studio light that can fit in the kitchen as I currently have so many things plugged in that I'm going to use right now so I can't use both studio lights. So today I have been busy packing orders and I have been doing this cute little drawing all morning which I am now going to use my brand new heat press and sublimation printer to print onto some t-shirts. I'm so excited to finally get to use them. I, they arrived last week and because the t-shirts have taken so long to arrive I haven't been able to use them but all the t-shirts arrived so they're ready to print which is why I was doing this illustration earlier this morning to print on these. So I'm not really sure exactly what I'm doing. I have obviously watched a lot of tutorials and read the instructions to try and figure everything out but obviously it's still going to be a learning process and I'm still not quite sure how to do it. So I have my printer set up over in the corner and I have filled up the new inks. I need to put them into the printer and replace the um, ones it's got in currently that I used for the setup. Um, and then I need to print my design off onto sublimation printer and set the heat press up. So let's get started with that. So back here we have my special sublimation inks. So I have filled up some special cartridges with these um, already and I need to replace the inks that are already in here. All right, so these are the new ones. This is just normal paper, I have to test it, so I'm going to take that out and put this stuff in instead. This paper is really weird, I'm not really sure how to describe it, but it's kind of like off-white, um, so it's not, I don't think it's actually white, it's, it's a bit more like cream, but it just feels weird too, it's like kind of cheap feeling, but it's also kind of thick too. I don't really know how to describe it, it's very strange. Okay, so I'm gonna go over to my computer and print off my design. So I should probably explain what has been going on. It is now the next day and it's taken me probably almost 24 hours to get this sorted. Uh, I mean, I was at work today, but it's taken me so long to get the inks to work. Basically, Epson has always had this problem. They're not really great fan of using other people's cartridges and I had to do that because obviously I have to use refillable ones to put the sublimation inks in and it was so hard trying to figure out how to get it to work but I've finally done it and then once I figured that out I then needed to figure out the right printing settings on my printer because obviously the ink's different to normal ink so I kind of had to fiddle around with that and then the Photoshop files and making sure everything looked pretty and nice and it took, it's taken ages, um, but I have managed to figure it out. So I have now got my final uh, design that I'm gonna print on my t-shirts. This is the first one here. I'm really excited to give this a go, finally. To be honest, <laughs> I'm gonna have to say that I am half going to do this tomorrow because it's quite late already and there's not much light in my kitchen right now, so uh, I kind of want to get the best footage for you guys and to make everything look nice and bright instead of this like weird lighting going on right now. But I'm really excited to give it a go and I'm so glad I finally managed to get it figured out. I mean, you can see how many attempts there were here to get it right, like, it was, it took a while. It's now Wednesday and I am ready to start printing on my t-shirts. Uh, I'm really excited to see how these turn out. So I have to get this all set up. I need to figure out how to turn it on and get the heat settings right and everything. Um, and then start printing. I mean, fingers crossed the first print will go okay, but you know, it probably won't. So I've got five t-shirts which I can use to try and get it right. Um, and obviously I can just turn the t-shirt like on the other side or something and print on that too. So I have all that space to print on. So as you can see here, I ended up putting the heat press um, on this wooden plank. This is just to protect my floor um, because I don't, it won't go on the table. Um, but hopefully that will be fine for it for now until I move. Um, and I've also got some grease proof baking paper which is supposed to uh, protect um, 
the t-shirt from burning so I think I'm supposed to put this over the top of the design got my t-shirt obviously and I've got my design printed out uh, on sublimation paper with sublimation ink as you can see I have flipped the image this is because obviously it's got text on so you want the text to be facing the right way when it's printed down onto the t-shirt So I now need to set the temperature to 625 Fahrenheit. It's kind of annoying that it's in Fahrenheit. So I think what I have to do is press mode. Um, and then... All right, so now I need to set... Oh, I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay, so this is the temperature, which needs to be 369. And then... The time needs to be uh, 100, uh, no, just 50 seconds. That's not very long. Okay. I really hope I'm doing this right. Okay. So 50 seconds and then, all right. So now it, the temperature is going up, which is good. That's what I want. That took a little bit of time to figure out, but that's fine. how this has come out the print is so beautiful and vibrant and lovely the one thing I would say I have a problem with is that it's way too saturated and that's probably because I fiddled with the uh, settings on Photoshop and I should have just left them um, as they were because on the paper it looked really faded but to be honest it's come out so bright on the t-shirt that it just doesn't it doesn't need that but yeah I am so so happy with this this is insane so I've just quickly pulled this over the top of the t-shirt I was already wearing, but I am really happy with it. I, like I said before, I need to change the saturation of it back to what it should be. Um, and I think I also might want to leave it on the heat press for a couple of seconds longer. Maybe I'll do 60 seconds instead. But yeah, I'm so happy with it. Here it is in the mirror. It needs to be a little bit higher, um, just a little bit, but yeah. I'm so surprised it came out this well on the first go. Like, I wasn't expecting it to be this nice. I was expecting it to be kind of faded and weird looking, but yeah, I mean, this could work on its own. If you're wondering what happened to the piece of paper, unfortunately, I can't reuse it because you can see here, the colors have gone a bit weird. They've been kind of burnt out of it. Um, but I thought that the whole design would mostly go, but it's just gone a bit faded. And So I definitely prefer how the colours came out on my second attempt, um, but I think I still need to kind of like tweak the colours around a bit. His jacket and hair are very orange when they're meant to be more yellow, so I kind of want to um, make them more yellow than orange. Um, but other than that, I think I'm, I'm pretty happy with it and even if it isn't quite the same shade of yellow I'd like it to be, I will probably just leave it because it's going to be very difficult to get the precise colours that they look on screen. Um, so I've fiddled around with some settings in Photoshop to make it less orange and I think that will be enough to make enough of a difference. So I am much, much happier with this final design. So I'm gonna print one more, which I will then take photos of and put up on my website for uh, pre-orders. I'm so happy with how this has come out. So now it's time to put it on and take some photos.
So after a really productive day yesterday where I got my t-shirts printed and I was sending out orders and I did loads of cool stuff, uh, unfortunately uh, there was a bit of a problem. So you know how last week I spent ages organising the bit in my kitchen with all my products and everything? Uh, well, there was a leak. Uh, so upstairs they have three different problems ro wrong with different things. So I had to take everything out of my kitchen and put it in my living room uh, because my floor got wet. So yeah. Uh, all my products are fine. I managed to get, I got everything out. My printer and heat press did get some water on them. So I have turned them off. I've moved them uh, away from like the water's gone now. They, they fix, they're fixing the problem. But I'm just kind of annoyed that it's just like, I wanted to spend time packing orders before I went to work, but I've had to like, um, move everything uh, and kind of talk to the people who live upstairs and the plumber and try and sort everything out which is kind of frustrating. So I've just come up from work and I'm about to start editing this vlog but I realised I never ended it so I want to thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, unfortunately yesterday uh, I didn't actually get much work done, I didn't get any work done. Uh, the reason for that was I was just kind of looking at house stuff and kind of trying to figure out um, places to move to because you know I really kind of want to get out of this place um, soon um, and I want to move in with Ryan but you know uh, it's kind of difficult at the moment because of corona, but we're trying our best to do what we can. But if you'd like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you'll be the first to be notified for when I next upload. And leave a comment below telling me what you have been up this to this week. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye guys!